Hi, Amy. Hi. Amy Trout, Design for Home. And Amy, we're sitting here in a store filled with window coverings. And I remember when I built my home. Such, so many choices that I had no idea where to begin. Where do you begin? So many choices. And I think people get kind of a, an image in their head, I want wood blinds or I want roller shades. And really, you have to ask yourself a few questions. How do I want the window treatments to function in my house? Is mm -hmm. it for light control? Is it for energy conservation? Is it for privacy or all of the above? You have to ask yourself, what obstacles might I have to consider? Mm -hmm. You know, do I have the crank out windows? And windows, if yeah. I'm going to be using uh, a window shade, how is that going to interact with that? Um, do I have a 20 foot ceiling with windows that go all the way up that I can't necessarily reach for myself? Mm -hmm. And in that case, do I need remote controls? Which, which I have. have. And there. if you have a view, you'd want something sheer like exactly. this. But if you want privacy, you just do. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Kind of like that. And right. then, this is so cool, this remote, and guys like remotes. You can just do something like that. Um, what, what I understood is that a lot of your energy seeps out through your window, so can window coverings help with that? They absolutely can. Being green and conserving energy is a, a huge factor for everybody right now, as is saving green. Mm -hmm. And when you consider products like this that have these wonderful little pockets that hold air, they can definitely keep it a little cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Um, this is just one of the ideas. You know, you can talk about uh, roller shades and uh, if you have a great view, mm -hmm. if you want to use a shutter or a you know, wooden blind, they can be kind of bulky and can kind of block mm -hmm. the view. But products like this can go all the way away and really stack back very clean and sleek so right. you can really maximize your view. So it really depends also what kind of home you have, if you have a historic home versus a contemporary home Exactly. Too. You have to consider how the product is going to look from the outside yeah. as well as from the inside. And something we didn't mention, what if you only want it for decorative purposes? Exactly. There are, there are ones you could use there. Definitely. There's roller shades, there's woven shades that are in all uh -huh. kinds of different textures and patterns and colors and you really have to consider how the color is going to act in your home. I can't stress enough how important it is to actually look at the color inside your house. With the paints you're using? With it? the paints you're uh -huh. using and the trim colors because a, a really warm color can cast a warm glow into your house and something that's really cool and white can really change mm -hmm. the whole atmosphere and the, the actual feeling in the room. You know if I got a chance to do a different profession all over again, I would name colors. Like, l listen to this. <laughs> Honey maple, absolute olive, wild ginger, passion punch, my favorite, plumberry. That's exactly right. And we've I, already determined that you look best in blue. So, you know, maybe it's But what color is that really? Smoky blue. Oh, smoky blue? Right. Anyway, uh, these can get expensive, and uh, tell us how you, how you try to work around well, that. Well, they can, and there's definitely a price range for everybody. The most affordable versions can be the wood blinds, or faux wood blinds, some mm -hmm. of the metal blinds still. A select few of the roller shades can still be very affordable. Mid-range, you might be getting into some of the wood blinds, some of the woven textures and treatments, and then the very highest end is going to be the products like this that are the sleekest, and the uh -huh. hardware is gorgeous, and everything about it is very sleek and well-designed. All right, any last tips? Uh, just really being careful with measurements. If you're going to order your window treatments on your own, uh, it's, it's very important to have the right kind of measurements. And if you have any questions or doubts about that, you can look to a designer or a window treatment provider like Premier Window Coverings mm -hmm. to come in and help you take the measurements, narrow your choices, and even help with installation. And there is no warranty if you do your own measurements and they don't fit you're paying for them. Exactly. So that's why you want someone to come out and do exactly. it. Exactly. Amy, I think this is an open and shut case. Thank you very much. Amy Trout, <laughs> Design for Home. <laughs>